Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about the UF Pro Delta Ace Plus Jacket and Multicam. Uh, I don't have it on here for the this portion of the review because it throws off my green screen like crazy. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, less of me yapping in front of the camera here and get into the details of the jacket coming up next. Just like the UF Pro pants review I did recently, these things have a ton going on, so we'll try to just knock them out feature by feature. Here on the wrist here, we have these uh, little extended sleeves, so that way you can wrap your thumb through here, and it'll help keep your hand warm, and you can also wear gloves over them without issue there, so it sort of is like a double insulation there on your wrist and your hand area. We have pockets here on each sleeve. You can put whatever you want in there. You can see it's not that big of a pocket, but you could definitely get maybe like an iPhone or something like that in there, and it would work just fine. Moving on down up the sleeve, we have a larger pocket here. Again, all the zippers throughout this are YKK zippers, so real high quality. And uh, this one sort of expands out, as you can see, and also has a drainage hole should anything get wet in there. Um, but it's a little bit bigger and allows a little more room and we also have the uh, hook and loop tape there for any of your morale patches that you may want to wear and we'll slide it down a little bit here we have this material which is called Kokona. it's an extremely interesting product uh, running a youtube channel you have to look a lot of things up that you don't know this is one of them i had to look up and it's actually a fabric made out of a derivative of the uh, coconut plant or coconut tree i should say and it's very very interesting um, basically it's a moisture wicking material that allows uh, heat and moisture to be dissipated very quickly, like much more so than like a lot of the, even like Under Armour type fabrics that you see these days. Uh, there's a lot of tests out there, like scientific tests having nothing to do with guns and gear reviews on the internet where it actually shows this, but really it does an excellent job of wicking away moisture. And it's also somewhat flexible. So if you're bending, or you know having to sort of reach outside what the shirt would normally allow it has given there so it'll allow it to stretch a little bit but yet still be very durable i mean i can yank really hard on there and it still holds so um very interesting uh, pattern for sure here on the uh inside of each portion of the front of the jacket we have these additional pockets so even more pockets um the design of these pockets being relatively high is designed so that way if you're wearing body armor uh you can still access them through sort of the uh shoulder holes there that'll be in your body armor so you can come in and still access them underneath your armor. Same goes for all the side, side uh, I should say, the sleeve pockets. Those are all accessible if you're wearing body armor. So certainly a well thought out design. The zipper here, again, YKK goes all the way up and it has this little cover there. So that way it's not gonna be poking you in the beard or hitting your chin and scratching your skin. Uh, very comfortable inside lining, which is uh, also that Kokona material that we talked about earlier. Uh, comfortable stuff for sure. The material you see here that isn't the Kokona, the multi-cam pattern stuff, is actually a dual layer uh, ripstop fabric. It's a nylon type material and underneath it, it's insulated with a uh, 3.75 micro fleece. So that uh, micro fleece there, what the 3.75 uh, indicates is basically the thickness of it. It's not super thick, but when you combine it with two additional layers there that can trap air, that's good for uh, good insulation and helps it keep you warmer than most jackets of this size would. It's definitely not a jacket I'd want to wear out there if it's like negative 20, but in most cool conditions, um, really it does an excellent job of insulating you beyond what you'd expect from a jacket of this thickness. You may have just noticed these inserts here. Uh, there's three of them. So one here on your back and then on each shoulder. And what they are is they're called Air Pack by UF Pro. You can take them out and you can see there's sort of a mesh material that is spongy. I don't know if you can see that. 
that's very spongy and springy. And what that does is it does uh, two things. One, it creates that thermal insulation by creating that air pocket in there, similar to what we were talking about earlier. And it also um, adds a little bit of cushioning, should you be wearing, again, body armor, any sort of heavy pack or anything like that, because that's really where it's going to be impacting you is right on the shoulder areas, and then here on your upper back. So it's very comfortable when you start adding weight. Those of you that watch the channel, I've seen this jacket really over the last probably four or five months up here in a bunch of different videos. So I've gotten a lot of questions on it, where to get it, what does it cost, all that stuff. So if you go over to UF Pro's website, uh, they're obviously based over in Europe. So you go over to their site and uh, you can check it out there. The cost, uh, as you can see here on your screen, it cost always changes, but that's the cost as of today. And I do recommend that you take a good look at their sizing chart. Now their sizing chart is, uh, sort of geared for both European folks and US folks. So they have both options there. So you take a look at it. Uh, this one here, according to the sizing chart, told me that I should be an extra large. That's what I have. It fits perfectly. So at least in my case, the sizing chart appears to be on. But um, in terms of quality, uh, just like, again, we'll reference the pants that I reviewed by UF Pro. The quality is top notch, guys. Um, there's just, I don't know how else to say it. The stitching's great. The materials are great. Um, it fits nice. It, it feels nice when you touch them. I mean, really, UF Pro is a relatively unknown brand here in America, um, but over in Europe, they're extremely popular. I know uh, also down in South America, they have a pretty big presence as well for the tactical community, um, but well-regarded for sure, and uh, quality really does seem to be top-notch. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the jacket that we didn't answer here, uh, by all means, post below in the comment section. Again, you can ask those technical questions over at their website. They have a this sort of a contact info over there. If you guys have technical questions on them or sizing questions, they're real helpful. They respond like the next day so or that day. Um, but that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.